Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Coffee and Cards. It's Tuesday. My name is Kate Bolt. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK, bringing you weekly paper crafting live on Facebook. I hope you are well. I hope this finds you well. It's a beautiful day here in Buckinghamshire. I've got my blind shut because when I open it, all we get is glare and shadow, but it's an absolute gorgeous day and the sun is shining. Now I'm just going to check on my laptop here that I'm live, which it looks like I'm live in the right place, which is brilliant. And I'll just hop on a minute, see if anybody joins me. Good morning, morning Claire. <laughs> Sorry. Good afternoon. I'm so used to going live at 11 o'clock in the morning and now I've changed the time. I keep saying good morning, so I apologise for that. I've got my drink, so I've not got a coffee, but it's a bit warm, so I've got a, I've got a Diet Coke instead. Do excuse me. I was in a bit of a hurry to put the kettle on, to be fair, but um, it's a bit warm anyway. So how are you, Claire? I hope you're well. I really hope you're well. So we, as, as you probably know, we have a brand new catalogue at the moment. We've also got our mini catalogue cu current, which is the January to June, which expires at the end of June, which is next month. How is that? Which is soon. Um, yeah, so we've got lots of goodies to play with. Um, today I'm going to be playing with a stamp set that I really love, I've hardly used very much, was in a previous catalogue and has carried over to the new annual catalogue and it's called Garden Bird Houses and I'm going to turn this around so that you can see it a little better, just for a moment. There you go, so you can see all the nice sentiments on there. It's got birthday wishes, hello, welcome. Welcome back, you could put, so, so glad you're here. And it's a great little set because you could actually put any sentiment you want with it. You could have a get well, you could have a sympathy, you could have all sorts going on. So I really like it. As soon as I saw it, I wanted it and I played with it a little bit, but it's one of those ones I haven't actually played with enough. So I thought I'd get it out today. Um, and so it's an older one that's not retiring, it's carrying over, I'm gonna pair it with something new. Uh, yeah, so, but the reason I was inspired to use this was we went up to um, Ashridge uh, National Trust Estate on the weekend, which is not that far from where we live, and uh, yeah, we, hi Wendy, good afternoon, uh, we went to have a look at the bluebells, because it's absolutely covered in carpets of bluebells, it's absolutely stunning, they're probably on their way over by now, they're beautiful when we went but I got the impression that it's kind of the last great week to see them so took loads of photos with my new camera had a lovely time took the dog really lovely and then we sat in the cafe and had a little drink and they have a shop there and they were selling little garden bird houses really reasonably I had my eye on one and my husband said oh, I like those so we ended up buying a little garden bird house so we put it on the wall in the garden now it's a little nesting box is what all it is and I'm sure that it's a bit late for nesting birds, but next spring, next spring, I'm really hoping. And you know, they may find a uh, shelter in there in the winter, you never know. So I was like, yeah, time to get the garden bird, bird house stamp set out. So we're gonna play with that. Hello, Doreen, welcome to Coffee and Cards. So this is definitely my new official time on a Tuesday afternoon instead of a morning. I have a meeting now for two hours in the morning every single week. So yeah, I'm on I'm online all day, and then I did have a meeting on a Tuesday evening. It's, a, it's something I go to, but was on Zoom. Uh, it's now gone in person, which is brilliant because being on Zoom all day and all evening is a lot. <laughs> or on online, I mean. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around, and we'll crack on. I hope you're okay. I hope you're all good, and you've had a good week. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'll do a little bit of crafting. I don't know if you'll be able to craft along with me, maybe. Anyway, here we go. This is the funny old clunky bit, so bear with me, won't you? Just a little second, just a little second. I keep saying I'm gonna do a stream labs where you put the picture in picture and you can just flick it over, but it's quite a lot of working out. So when I actually get some time, that might be a thing that I do next. Definitely for my YouTube, I think that'll be a lot easier because you can't really flip the camera so well in YouTube. So I don't tend to, 
I only like focus on my hands, but you know, you want to see, don't you? You want to see people. So here we go. Let's move the glary bits out of the way. That's it. And I've stamped out a couple of little bird houses there. So hello, Amy. Welcome to Coffee and Cards this afternoon. Right. So we, as I said, we're using this lovely stamp set called Garden Bird Houses. It doesn't have any dyes with it. It's a great basic stamp set and it's got some lovely, lovely images. So we're going to use that. Right. So what I thought I would do is pair it with something brand new. And I have been showing you over the last week or two weeks, actually, these new papers here. The Sun Prince Designer Series paper. Now, I've got a few packs of paper that are current, some that have retired um, now, but I've got a few that are current. But this is the only brand new one I've got until my big delivery arrives tomorrow. I'm so excited. So I had looked through all my papers and I actually liked the contrast in it. And I thought this would go really well with the bird houses. And then I actually changed my mind and I went for this stripe. So that was how I started off. So that's the new. And that's how I started off. And then I wanted to go for a contrasting colour, but I didn't want just blue and white because that can be a bit dull. So I pulled out some pool party cardstock. So I've got a, I can't see my camera shot. I have got a pool party card base. So it's an A4 card. It's scored in half at 10.5 centimetres and cut in half at 14.8 to make two card bases. So that's one. Okay, so that's what I've done there. And then I've got my designer series paper that I was just showing you, and it's called the Sun Prints, and it's from the Sun Prints suite, and it's really beautiful. Do show if you'd like to see those papers. I have shown them before, so I don't want to really bore everyone, but if you want to see them properly, do shout. Um, and so, yeah, there's this side, and I was actually going for this stripe. And I wasn't sure if Starry Sky, which is this new colour, would go with the pool party, but it really does. I really like that a lot. Okay, so that's that. And then I wanted to tie the pool party back in with my card design. Now I had decided to put a stripe, a strip of something down the side. And I couldn't decide whether I was putting different design of series paper, what it was going to be. And I went back in with a piece of the cardstock. So a simple thing to do to tie it all together. And the cardstock, pool party again, it's just four centimetres across by the length of this piece, which is 14.3. This is just half a centimetre smaller than the base. Okay, so this is four by 14.3. And when it goes up on my blog, I'll put the measurements up there too, which will probably be tomorrow. Okay, so we've got that one. And then we need to do our birds. Now, I wanted also a piece to go in the inside. So that's the same size as the front half a centimetre smaller than the base. So that's going to go for in the inside stamping, but that's the basic parts of our card. Hello. Hello, Belinda. Hello, Hazel. Oh, I love this colour too. Starry sky. So pretty. And it seems to go with pool party I've discovered today. Oh, so exciting. So let's grab some plain white cardstock. Because we're going to do some stamping. I've got a big piece. Ooh, very exciting. Right, so what I'm going to do first, grab my black ink. I'm using the Memento because I'm going to use my alcohol blend pens to colour with. But you can use whatever you want to colour your images with. And I've chosen this one. I'm going to put it in the middle because I'm going to cut it out with a circle. Okay, so I've got my birdhouse. But if you look on the stamp set... Hello, Anne. Good afternoon. If you look, we've got some really lovely um, bird houses. So you've got a choice of whatever shape you like. Actually, this one looks like the one we got at the, at the National Trust Centre, but they're all really, really sweet. So got that one. OK, so I've stamped that one. Ooh, let's get the lid on without getting inky. That would be nice. All right, put my ink pad back. Okay, so then I wanted to put in a couple of the branches. I had them out and I've been playing with them this morning. So, as you can see, 
I am going to stamp. Now, I did find I had a bit of bother with this one because it's a photopolymer stamp. I found my impression wasn't very good on my very hard table. It's not very forgiving. So I'm going to bring in my foam pad. This is a really old one. Stamping up sell them as well. I've got a few knocking about. This one's super old. It does the job. I'm going to pop it on there. And this will give a bit of cushioning to your photopolymer stamp. So hopefully that will improve the image when I stamp it. So I'm going to ink that one up. Yeah, I was having big patches missing. And I, oh, is this me? And then I realised, very simple. I should be using a foam mat. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my branches and I'm just going to bring them down the side of my birdhouse because I'm going to cut the image out with a circle. See, that's not bad at all. That one. Whereas I had a big patch missing when I did it before. And then I think I need a bit more. Ah, uh, how will I do it? I think I'll have it come in this way. Like so. I think that's probably enough. I might put a little bit here. So let's just stamp the end of it. Because I just literally want it to show. So I'm going to kind of cut it out like that. Okay, that's all that, that I need to stamp. And then we're going to come in with some of the, there's some grasses, if you like. Let me grab them in this stamp set. There's like, I'll show you them. Um, yeah, there could be flowers uh, here and here. And I'm going to use some of these. Oh, I didn't put my little string in. So my my um my birdhouse is suspended in midair, but uh, I might have room to put the string in. If not, I'll put a post in. So let's have a look. So when I played about with it, I wanted to put my string here. And I think that might work rather than putting a post in. So ink up that little one. Would have been better if I had a right sized ink block, couldn't it? Measure it up, on it goes. So that's gonna hold it up in the air. It's dangling, trust me. <laughs> oh dear, hello Valerie. Thank you for joining me. Right now, I grabbed out my garden green ink pad to do this stamping with these kind of grasses. If I don't stick my finger in it, will be okay. Afternoon, Shaz, how are you? I hope you're feeling okay. Right, let's just pop them in. Like that. And I've got a little bit of a trick for you. If I could find, I made a little mask, but I might have just. Oh, there it is. I'm good at losing things when I'm doing a live because I have so much stuff out. So I stamped it and cut it out and made a mask, and then I can pop it over the top like that, hide it a little bit, and then we can put some more of these. Slow steps in the right direction. Well, that's good news. Put that one on there, like so. Take the mask off. Okay, so happy with that. Then I kind of get my circle dies and I'm going to cut out the piece of the image that I want. So I don't need all this at the top, but I do want most of this down below like that. So I'm going to pop that through my machine. Before I do it, I'm going to cut this corner off the cardstock so it fits. Like that. So circle dies. Oh, hang on, I've cut it too short. Have I? Oh no, that will work. That will work. Be careful when you cut it out. Don't do that. Because you end up with more 
this than that. That makes sense. Okay, so the circle dies. I'm just using one of our layering circle dies and I'm going to keep it uh, steady with some washi tape so that I don't move it when I cut it out. Hello in Australia, Anne. What's the weather like with you? I always like to know about what the weather's doing. <laughs> always like to know. Right, so we have our piece there, and this is the piece that we don't need. I might need that again later. Right, okay, so I'm going to move my foam pad. Look, I've made a right mess everywhere. Oh, I think that was off the back of my foam pad. <laughs> that's what this is for. So that's good. Right, I'm going to colour it in. I'm just going to colour in the foliage. So I've got light mossy meadow blend. I've got some green, basically. You can pick out whatever colours you've got. And I've got pool party. And I chose some grey for the roof. And I've got some ivory. So just some general colours. And then I've got something pretty to make flowers with. Which I think I picked up Calypso Coral there. I'm not going to use all of these colours. I think I'm just going to go for one green. They're very small uh, bits to colour in. You don't need to have to have too many supplies. And there's not much technique involved. So I'm just going to colour in my leaves very quickly. Yeah, so I love this little birdie house we've got. It's like a nesting box. So I'm presuming I just leave it empty and I don't put anything in it. Uh, let me know if you've had any experience with a nesting box for your birds in your garden. I know Jo would be able to tell me, but I don't think she's on the live today. She's just come back from her holiday. She's probably getting to grips with everything. Hello, Chris. Lovely of you to join us. Right, so I'm going to use both the, oh no, I'm not going to colour that in yet. I'm going to colour in the, um, my words keep going away. I'm just going to colour in with one colour these tops of these grasses and make them look like little flowers. Is all. Very little to do. That's it. Take the green I should have got my garden green out, but this is fine. It all works. Leaves aren't all the same green. And I probably would have picked a different green if I thought about it, so that's fine. Okay, so that's that. Happy with that. Right, next thing is, I've stamped this little birdhouse again, and I'm going to colour it in on here. Okay, so I'm going to go for dark and light in the pool party colour. When you buy these, they come as a pair together so you can use them for shading, which is what you want. So I'm going to do my dark bit first. I'm just going to put a bit of shading in where I think it would look right. I'm not an expert. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of dark around here. Like that. I think underneath the gable roof, like that. Maybe this bit here and this bit here. That's about it. Morning, Amy. And then I'm going to do this on the other side as well. I have two because I need two. It's a very quick colouring in job. Nothing very taxing needed. <laughs> okay, so that's the dark pool party and then I'm gonna shade the rest in with the light. Just make sure there's no harsh lines by blending it together. Just 
tell me, um, ladies, what's your favourite colouring medium? Do you like these blends, or do you like the um, do you like the Stampin' Right markers better, or the watercolour pencils, or something else? What do you like? I'd love to know. Oh, it's Joe! Hello, Joe. You must have heard me talking about you. <laughs> I was just saying about I've got a new garden nesting box that we bought on the weekend in the garden for the birds. It's up on the wall. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was just saying, I wonder if uh, if I need to put anything in there. Can I just leave my nesting box empty? I think it's a bit late this year, but for next year. You like the blends, Hazel? Yeah, they're my favourite completely. And I've been, since they came out a few years ago, I, I, I haven't changed my mind yet. So I'm definitely loving these the best. Right, so I'm going over the roof in light, smoky slate grey. So anything neutral would work. Crumb cake is nice. Uh, oh, I should have done that in the... Let's not colour that a bit in. That should be in the pool party colour. That's that bit, I think. There we are. And then I just picked out, we have a neutral. We have a few neutrals. We've got a load of new neutrals now, actually, which is great. We have a whole host of skin tones. You've got great tip babies in your bird box. Oh, and you can watch. Oh, that's a really good idea, Shaz. Um, jo, who's on, uh, who's here, she has um, a hedgehog cam. And she has this amazing hedgehog called Joy who comes into her garden. So I'd love to get a camera if we've got something nesting in our bird box. Oh, that's such a good idea. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm getting distracted now. Sorry. <laughs> We haven't put it right actually by the door, but I'm sure we could see it from the conservatory. I wanted it far enough away so that it wouldn't disturb anything that went in there if it did. But we also wanted it away from the cat. <laughs> Right, okay, so my bird boxes are coloured in. Do you see? That wasn't very difficult. It was just kind of colour it in any colours you like. I'm going to cut it out. Yes. So, did you say blue tits? Oh, great tits. Yeah. Now, we normally have blue tits nesting uh, in near, somewhere near in one of the neighbour's roofs opposite my back uh, window. I've not seen them this year unless I'm too late for them. Or I've not been looking. Oh, you have too many badges, Shaz, do you? That's a shame. Yeah, we we don't have any hedgehogs. I don't, I mean, they might come and go, but I don't know. But our garden's completely sealed, obviously, because we've got a dog. So we have no little gaps in the fence, no tiny little... We do have gaps under the back gates. So there's a possibility they might come and go. They're not massive gaps. How big do you think you need a gap for, for a hedgehog to come through? No idea. So I do love the summer. We do, um, I don't know if any of you seen my Instagram or anything like that, but um, I live by a lake and I walk the dog around the lake a couple of times a day and we have so much going on with the wildlife around there. We've got swans nesting at the moment and Canada geese and it's beautiful. And then of course in the summer, like most of us in the back garden, if you're out there late at night, you can see things like sometimes we get bats and things. They do put hedgehog highways in. I, I, yeah, I know. I love that idea. Might be something I need to look into. I just don't want to 
do that and then have them pestered by our dog. So mm, it's a thought to think about. Okay, we have our lovely little bird box. Um, I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. And the only reason I didn't colour in this one, I coloured in this one, was I just wanted to give it a bit of, yeah, it's nice. It really is nice. I give it a bit of depth or a bit of something different to look at on the card. A bit of interest, but you could easily have it flat and it would be just as nice. Yeah, I love going around our lake and the dog loves it. Bless him, he's, he's a water baby. <laughs> He's by my feet at the moment, grumbling because I haven't taken him out yet. So that's the next job. And then I'll have to take him out again tonight. Okay, so we've got those. And we're going to pop our card together. Hedgehog Highway, that's a great idea. Right, I might just put these things together. This one's going to go on the top here like that. That makes sense. Yeah, right. Now, I did have another idea as well. So I'm going to do that before I stick it all together. I've got my white baker's twine. And we sell this in a four pack. I think you get white, very vanilla, um, blah, 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 the grey granite and black, which is great value. Right, I am going to wind it round. So I'm going to tape a piece on the back with some washi tape just to anchor it down. You could use a double-sided sticky tape. Just in the middle. And I'm going to take it around what, four times, something like that. Oh, <laughs> it's run away. It's gone on the floor. I've officially lost it. Oh, no. If the cat comes in, she's still a kitten. Everything is a joy to her. <laughs> Bless her. So you can fiddle with your... <laughs> Sorry, I'm telling you to fiddle with your twine. You can fiddle with your baker's twine and get it how you want it to look. Just have it wrapped around, really. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. There you are, fiddle with it a little bit. And then I'm going to stick all my pieces together. Oh, that's a win. Because normally I manage to stick everything down and then realise I wanted to add, you know, the, the twine or whatever it was. Especially when I've designed the card beforehand, completely forgotten about that part. <laughs> okay, on it goes. I really like this new paper. It's all this starry sky white with some grey granite and it's really nice. This one's going to go on there. Do I bring it over or do I not? Nope. I'm going to do it that way. Well, I don't know. Which way? So then I'm going to bring my sentiment on. I think I'm going to marry it all up how I wanted it in the first place. That makes sense. So I'm going to use my seal all the way over it and hope it's enough to keep it all stuck down. If not, the Tombow's coming out. <laughs> Look, I'm stuck to the twine. Hi, Philomena. How are you, my lovely? How are you? I hope you're well. I could have popped that up on dimensionals, actually. That would have been really nice, too. And it wouldn't have made it any higher because it's still just, you know, one layer up. So let's spread this out a bit. Yeah, so I've not got outside today, guys, apart from the school run. Desperate to get outside. Okay, so this one's going on there, and I've already raised this one up, so I'm not going to raise that one up anymore. I'm going to just use my plenty of adhesive on there to, to adhere it down, and I'm just going to pop it slightly over the top of the twine, like that, and I've got our garden birdhouse. It's not straight. It's not straight. Oh, no. There we are. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, okay, next thing's next is what we're we gonna put on it. What are we gonna say? So, 
<laughs> it's really nice. We got the birthday wishes. Hello. So glad you're back. Welcome. I love all of these things. So I think I'm going to go with hello. Hello. Right. I think I'm going to go with hello. Let me just check. I can't remember what I decided. Oh, yeah, that was right. That was right. So, make sure I think it works. I do think it works. So, a piece of the white. Grab that starry sky colour in the ink. Same as this. And the hello. Here it is. Hello. Birthday wishes would be lovely. But I have rather a lot of birthday cards made. Mm, should I do but No, no, no. We're going with hello. <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp it here on this little bit on the end. There we go. It's such a nice one, except for I pressed it down really hard. I don't think it matters. I think it'll be fine. Right, chop it off. Chop it off. Now, I could um, use a die. And have it as a little rectangle. I could use um, a punch, any kind of label die, but I'm going to cut it out. Now, I absolutely love words when they're cut out, as you might have noticed, because I do a lot of this kind of, let's just cut around our word. <laughs> and uh, we call it fussy cutting, don't we? I don't know why we call it that, but we do a lot of that. And I don't mind it, it's quite relaxing. Um, it's not my most favourite thing to do, but I do quite a lot of it because I like the effect. Um, but I was very excited to see that in our new catalogue, Stampin' Up! seems to have noticed, and they have uh, brought out a big sentiment stamp set with a coordinating die set that cuts around the word as if it had been fussy cut. I'm so excited for that. It was one of the first things I saw and I put it on my first order, which is arriving tomorrow. Hooray. It's taken a little while. I'm very excited. So, yeah. So I have, I imagine when I do my live on Friday, because I do a, a live on a Friday on YouTube, I, I will probably use that. You wore that straight away, Shaz. Isn't it such a bonus? Did your order come yet? I think we both put big orders in similarly. Similar time. <laughs> so I'm very excited. In fact, I will see if I can find that stamp set in a minute and show you the sentiments that are in it. Because, yeah, it's nice to cut it out, but it wouldn't it be nice if it was done for me? <laughs> I'm easy. Yes, yeah, definitely, Amy. It's so going to be useful, isn't it? Right first time every time, eh? So I've got my hello, and I'm going to pop it up here. And I'm popping it up here because then it will co it will contrast against the pool party. If I pop it down here, it gets a little bit lost. Oh, did you pay the extra for priority picking, Shaz? That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Maybe I should do that next time. I've not tried that yet, but it sounds really good. Oh, you've got an order coming tomorrow as well, Hazel. You and I both. And yours came within two days. That's good news that after you paid a bit extra, it really works. Because mm. mine's taken quite a few days, but obviously I just did standard and it's coming from Germany and it's fine. I'm not, you know, it hasn't taken an extra amount of time, to be honest. I am just very impatient. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if anyone else is the same as me. I do procrastinate. So I've put rather a large order in. But I procrastinated for quite a while over all the lovely goodies I was going to put it in, put into it. So I then put the order in. So considering I procrastinated for all this time on what I was going to order, once I put the order in, I'm like, mm, can't it come now? Can it come now? <laughs> oh, no, I need it. I need it yesterday. It's funny, aren't we? Human beings. 
Oh, Shaz, honestly, you definitely need some joy when you're really poorly like that. You definitely need some self-care. You absolutely deserved it. Definitely. So I've raised that hello up a little bit. Hello. So I really love that. That is so nice. So on the inside, we're going to put, what are we going to put? I'm going to put so glad you're here because I know exactly who I'm going to send this to. Now, you might not put so glad you're here in your card because it depends on what you said, what your, you, your, your reason you're sending it. But I am because I'm actually going to send this. I've got a new team member. There's an amazing offer out at the moment. It's the in-colour offer for the joining promotion. So if you join my team until the end of the month, you get all the goodies. You get the £130 worth of free product. Not free. £130 of any product you like uh, for £99 with free shipping that's worth £6.95. And then you can add on the in-colour promotion, which is £62.50 worth of in colour, new brand new in colour goodies for free. For free. For free. <laughs> so yeah, I've got people taking advantage of that, which is amazing. This is joining my lovely team. And uh I'm gonna make this particular lady this card. I think she might like it. I'm gonna put a couple of little sprigs in there. What do you say, Belinda, to receive a well-being order at least monthly in your book? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we should be calling them. Oh, I love this idea. It's a well-being order. <laughs> I absolutely love that. We're going to use that term now. So glad you're here. I love that. Oh, and a little bit down here. And I'm not at all worried that I'm stamping on my foam pad because I'm messy. Well, the only month you don't order is December. Well, that's fair enough, actually. Not only is December a very expensive month, but you know what? You can, uh, there's, a, there's enough joy going on in December, isn't there? Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. Oh, self-care. That's it. Ah, right. We're going to pop this one inside. Um, I'm not going to colour in the leaves now because we could be here for months. Um, <laughs> but I'll pop back later and colour in those leaves for the inside. I'm sure, you don't want to watch me colour those in again. So I'm going to do it again in a minute. Okay. So using my seal just to pop it down. So glad you're here. Oh, I like this. I hope she likes it. I'm probably, when I finish, going to find some of the new in-colour matte dots as well. Your payday is usually a week before. Oh, do you know what, Hazel? That's a long time to wait, isn't it? Was that not this one gone but the previous year? Because I think I know what happened because mine went astray too. We had, that was when Brexit happened, if it wasn't last year but the year before. I don't know. But it happened to me and they were all stuck in a big shipment containment in customs. But um, yeah, I don't think I've had any other problems but in December to be fair. But I don't, I'm probably the same as you and I probably order less in December and more when the new catalogue is launches in January. Yes, that was it. It was due to Brexit. <laughs> so I'm going for the same card design for my second card. I've got my other half of that pool party piece as a card base. And then I've got this gorgeous new 3D embossing folder. It's called the Fern 3D embossing folder. And it is part of the Sunprint suite, um, which is what I've used the papers from. And uh, you can see it on a couple of my previous videos as well. I've put them up on YouTube really nice it gives a really nice definition and I have already um 
embossed my piece of white cardstock layer to go on the top. So some of it's embossed, some of it's less. Isn't that lovely? Really lovely. So that's going to go on there, half a centimetre smaller on both sides. And then that four centimetre strip of pool party cardstock on this one, I just swapped it out for a four centimetre piece of the starry sky. And I've embossed that in with the same embossing folder. It's really pretty. So those are going to go together. I'm going to do the same thing with the twine. Only where did I lose it? On the floor. Oh, and it's unraveled. So we're going to wrap the twine around it and it give a nice contrast, I think. It was that flipping Brexit, eh? <laughs> oh, well. So I think I'll go around, let's do it a bit, let's make it a bit wide. I think I'll go around uh, four times. There we are. I made it a bit wide so I can pull it about a bit. I've ordered all sorts on this new order that's coming tomorrow. I've got new snips. If you were here with me last week, I had to make a list because I kept forgetting to put the things on my order. So I made my list and you ladies helped me. <laughs> and my new um, scissors went on there too. So anchor that one down and then just fiddle faddle. It's a technical word I like to use. Fiddle faddle until you got the desired effect. <laughs> Bit of fiddle faddling. Okay, and then I can stick it on the white piece. It's probably, if you're using the embossing folder, um, Tombow would probably be preferable, to be fair. It gets in the nooks and crannies and sticks it down really properly, but I'm going for speed today. It should be fine. Okay, line it up with the edge. Make sure. There we go, all stuck down. And then I can stuck, stick, stuck, stick this one down as well. Yeah. There we go, there's our base and our layer. That's like that. Now I need to do a little bit more stamping like before. I think this one will be big enough to go for that circle die. Hmm. Talking of the circle die, where did you go? Where did you go, circle die? Uh, oh, there you are. I put you safely so I didn't lose you. <laughs> Aren't we ridiculous the way we talk to our stuff? Right, yeah, that will fit nicely. It's quite big enough. Okay, birdhouse. Here it is. Uh, yeah, I use the same birdhouse. I'll just go for the same card. Just make it look a little bit different. You could play around and put all the different birdhouses on there. Uh, this time I won't forget to put my string on. Thanks, Shaz. Yeah, I never think to layer up with an embossing folder really um i don't normally do that i quite like the effect doing two layers with it so there's our string that's a little bit better isn't it uh we're going for the leaves oh was liz on oh yeah i think i had a notification it was when i was in that online meeting that i have to go to on a tuesday yeah yeah I'll probably watch her back. I love watching Liz. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> Liz Liz doesn't live terribly terribly far from me, so we sometimes meet for lunch. Um she's my friend and she's in my wider team. And uh Oh, look, I forgot my mat. That's exactly what happened to me earlier on. So you can see what happens with the photopolymer stamp if you don't um Sometimes, anyway, if you don't use your foam mat. So let's just see what we can sort out here. It may be 
No, I'm going to have to do it again, I think. I forgot my foam mat and it's got a bit dirty on the back. <laughs> Dear. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We get into habits, don't we? Habits. And then they're so ingrained in us, they're like autopilot. I could do with some habits, some better habits that were ingrained, to be fair. <laughs> Right, that one. Like using my mat. That one. Let's go again with this one. She said, yeah, did she? She said that, did she? Bless her. We need to put another date in the diary, Liz and I. We haven't met for a few weeks. Yes. Ladies who lunch. I shall have to go and have a look at what she was making. Ah, uh, a little bit down here. A little bit. I brought it in at the side, didn't I? I want to leave enough room for my elite for my um uh oh, where's it work? Uh little flowery bits. If I bring it over a bit, I think. This time, see a bit more. There we go. And yeah, Liz is funny, isn't she? Great sense of humor. Right, the grasses, flowers, whatever you like to call them. I'll just bring it up as far as here. I've got a black on my finger there. Uh, oh, and I used the, um, I don't know if I'll bother. How far out is it going to come? Let's have a look. I think that's enough. I think I might just bring it through the middle. There we go. That's done. Now, it look, might look like I'm going to do a load of colouring in, but I'm really not. I'm just going to do the leaves. And get the lid off just very quickly. So, what has anyone got planned to do later today? Has anyone got anything nice going on? I'm going to be walking the dog, um, seeing how the swan is getting on on her lake, on her lake, on her nest, on the lake. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. So I don't need to colour it all in, just what's going to be shown. Ah, so you've got puppies, haven't you, Shaz? How many have you got? I bet they're a lot of work. <laughs> we took the... Um, I took the cat to the vet yesterday for the kitten because I've been trying to get her to grow big enough to get her neutered. Um, she's going to be a small cat, you know, just in stature, I think, because she's taken ages. She's, she doesn't look skinny. She's just small. She's taken ages to be heavy enough to um, to go for that and have that done. So, But she's heavy enough now. Poor kid. Poor thing. So she's going to have a bit of a shock in a couple of weeks' time. You've got six. <gasps> Remind me what breed they are. I did ask you. I'm sorry. Right. So I've only coloured in what's going to show. Let's stick that down. 
cut it out on the Stampin' Up! Cut an emboss. Oh, of course. Oh my God, you're so lucky. Springer Spaniels. Oh. Oh, Springers. Love. That's so nice. Yeah. Where's my green ink pad? I was going to do another one. Oh, there it is. Um, when we went out this weekend and we were out walking, we saw a couple of beautiful springers. Um, I've got an apple on my plate with mine, with my Labradoodle and my cat and my family, I think there's enough work. I don't know if Jo's still on the call or if she's popped off, but um, she's got three little dogs. She's got Cairns and they're lovely as well. Right, let's pop this in. go so we've done all the little uh fiddle faddly bits and i'm gonna pop that one on there so we don't have to color that one in because i've already made it uh just pop a sticky foam pad or three two i think on the back wow 15 growing up springers yeah do they do, are they do they kind of work on the farm if you know what i mean do they are they sort of run around the farm and do their thing. I bet they're gorgeous. Oh, look, I've left a big patch. How has that happened? Must have been all my chatting. There we are. You never know. Okay, so this one's going to go on here. Like that. Oh, I like that. Um, I just need to glue that one down because I think I've got enough, um, <clears throat> excuse me, dimension. Deciding what to do. There we go. Hello. Right, hello, is that what I'm going to use this time? Let's try birthday wishes. Oh, wow. You're the person to know, that's right, I'd forgotten you do that. You're the person to know, so you can tell me all my dog's problems. <laughs> <laughs> you can analyse my dog's mind. I like this idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with a pool party. And the blue. Let's see how that works. Birthday wishes. And then, that's a very juicy ink pad. Right, I'm going to go with stamping it again. Always the owner's fault. <laughs> Probably is, yeah. I think some things we do unconsciously. We're very lucky that Alfie's such a good dog. He's quite placid. He doesn't like it when uh, other dogs walk past the house. But if he sees them outside the house, he just wants to lick them to death. <laughs> so, he's pretty good. So we are going for, I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work, so do bear with me. I'm going to cut out birthday. And if it doesn't work, we'll try something else.
difficult to cut the end of that because it was right up against the next bit. So we're going to put birthday and then wishes we're going to cut out as well. And I will have a look and we'll see what that stamp set was. That's a good idea, Belinda. Especially if you're having a rescue dog, that's a really good idea, isn't it? I bet they I bet they think the world of each other. Oh, two of my boys are on the spectrum. They both idolise the dog. And the cat, though. <laughs> then I think, you know, they're in good company. <laughs> Those pampered pets on the face of the earth. Ah, oh, you prefer the dogs. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. It is about getting the right dog with children with special needs. I think you're absolutely right. Okay, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there with the wishes. nearly there okay we are there let's see what this is going to look like yes birthday wishes yes right okay now let's see if the tiny weeny sticky foam pads are too big for this they might be 